Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Let's solve the problem triangle. Given a triangle array, return the minimum path sum from top to bottom. For each step, you may move to an adjacent number of the row. More formally, if you are on index i on the current row, you may move to either index i or index i plus 1 on the next row. So let's understand the example in more detail over here. So we have this like input given forming like a triangle kind of a structure. So here like this is 0th row, 1st row, 2nd row, this is index, I am basically mentioning uh, index of the each row and this is like an index of the column, like this is 0th column of each row, then we have 1st column of each row, 2nd column of each row, like index of and the 3rd column of the each row, so this is how. So now we have to start from this, like here we have only one possible start index, start uh, option. So we have to start from here 0, 0, then from here we can go either the 0th column 3 or the first column like 0th plus 1 which is the first column into the next row. So we have to go downward row by row, 1 by 1 row and the column we can choose whichever give us the path sum is minimum. So how we will solve this problem? First, we will try to form the recursive solution of this problem. So if you have already solved some of the famous DP problem, it is very straightforward. You can come up the recursion solution of this problem. So how we will do it? So let us say if I call my recursive function helper. So that helper function will get the input like rowth number and the column number. So from rowth number, so first of all, what will be the base case? So base case is if we cross this row, last row. So which means if R is greater than or equals to number of row, let us say capital R total rows in our triangle, then we just return 0 over here because we are done. We found the path from top to bottom. Otherwise, we need to select, we need to like we need to go in the minimum, whichever the path give us the minimum. So we will take min of uh, either the from helper, uh, sorry for the bad handwriting, help, helper of next row which is r plus 1 and the same either the same column or from helper helper of the next row r plus 1 or the c plus 1 column. So this is from these two plus the value on the current cell like if we are on r comma c we need to add the value. So let us say input given as a some array or something t. So t of r comma c is the value of the current r at the r comma c. So this is what we will add and we will keep calling recursively until we hit the base case. Once the base case hit this recursive all the recursion call stack will be fold up and we will get the answer. So for this triangle is this is underscore like highlighted from the example I took the image. So this is the path which is giving us like 2 to 3, 3 to 5 then 5 to 1. This is the our path which is giving us a minimum sum which is total is 11. So this is if I choose let us say instead of here 3 I go like 3, 2, 4 then 5 then 1 so which is 12. If I go 4, 7, 3 which is more than 12 even. So the overall we have only one path here which is giving us a minimum path sum which is 11. So this you can pause the video try to write the recursive code. So here is the recursive code I have snippet, I have already written and tested this. This will work definitely for the small test cases, but this will give you timeout for the bigger input, bigger triangles. Why? So let us see what will be the time complexity of this solution. Let us say we have R row in our triangle. So we have to go R, call the R time. So this is R into at in each row we have two choices. So in each row worst case we will have C columns. So there will be 2 raised power C options. So this is the time complexity of this which is exponential. So this will definitely time out for bigger input. How we can optimize it? So before optimizing it we need to see if there is any pattern. So let us say if I am on this place which is on the first row zeroth column. So from here I can go on this 5 as well as from if I go in this call stack I can also go here like from the 1 to 1. So if you clearly see this problem for the same row, I, we are solving trying to solve for the same row, row number 2 and the same column we are getting 2 times call. So what we will do in this case, we will catch the solution of these small sub problems and reuse them later if they again occur. So how we will catch the solution? We can use either the map data structure 
or we can use the 2D array. We can use the 2D array of integer type as we are finding the integer sum. So here is the code like I did for using the map. I always try in Python you can use at the at the rate LRU catch which is very handy. You just write to uh, need to write the recursive solution and just put the at the rate LRU catch on top of your recursive function that will take care of everything. You don't have to do any but in Java we don't have direct those things. So we can use map here or also in C++. So here the key we can form the combination of these two row number and the column number by appending like by delimiting with some some keyword like some different uh, delimiter like because these both are integer two different combination of row and column make combine and give if you do not add any delimiter so that is the reason once you do you check if we already not solve we will solve this problem recursively and store the result corresponding to this key and later we will return the answer so this will be success and the time complexity of this solution will be r into c which is nothing but if r our c is same as r so r is square so n is square and what will be the space complexity as you can see worst case we may store all the solution so space complexity is also r square so this is the one solution now if you don't want to store like use the hash map we can also do save like this same code i have here so we can also store into a 2d integer array like let me define integer 2d array dp and you can make instead of global in locally and pass over the helper map function call as well that's nothing wrong you can do that as well so here we define integer array so the what will be the size of this integer array whatever the size of our triangle so the triangle has same number of rows and columns so we just use this triangle dot size again here so once this then here instead of generating this string key we just need to check if dp is null then only calculate if dp of r comma c is null then evaluate it and once you done we will put this dp of r comma c r comma c is the value and in the end we return the dp of rc the value at this so this is how we are now using the different cache like integer 2d let's try to compile this code this should work uh, it is going and it is working let's we can submit so it got accepted so this is the top down approach from recursive to top down how we can solve it in bottom up approach so let's understand if we start from this row so in this row if i see this three which is on the fourth column so this is coming from the previous row third column which is i minus i minus one so if i say this is my i or j uh, let's say if this is my column so c column i am on current column so this is coming from c minus 1 similarly if i am i am on 8 this 8 is coming from here and here so if i start like uh, instead of this arrow downward i will take c on 7 i can come from this 8 or 3 and from out of these two what i need to do i need to choose the whichever the minimum and then add it so first we will take a 1d dp array of size is same as the last row and fill the last row element which is like 4 1 8 and 3 now what we need to do at 6 we can come from 4 and the 1 so if this is the seat column then we can come from c or c plus 1 of the uh, next row if we are on rth row then we can come from r plus 1 row this two places only so at 6 we will check minimum of uh, both of them we will take it and store it back to over here so this will become 7 now again at 5 we will check minimum of this 8 and 1 which is 1 so 1 plus uh, 5 which is 6 now at 7 we can come from minimum of 3 so this is 3 plus 7 which is 10 over here so this is 10 over here so this last column will be not again evaluate then we keep further go upward at 3 we can come from this index or this index so whatever value over here we calculated first 7 or the 6 we will take the minimum from these two which is 6 6 plus 3 this will be updated to now 9 now 9 
and again at 4 we can either come from this or this so 6 or this is 8 so 6 will be minimum so this will be 10 now again at 2 we can come from either from here or here so 9 is minimum so we will take 9 so the minimum 9 plus 2 which is minimum so this is the final answer 11 at the and at 0th index we will get the answer so this is another approach thinking to build the solution from bottom up so now once you got the idea you can pause the video and try to implement yourself so let's quickly implement this code let's reset this first so for code we just need uh, one d array of dp so let me first define the size of our triangle which is let's say n uh, triangle size so this is triangle dot size and now this will be same size as of n plus 1 and so first we will initialize the last row from i0 i less than n i plus plus dp of last row i is triangle dot get uh, n minus 1 the last row and get the ith column value so that's it once this done uh, uh, and so here we are have to start from the second last row and i until go is 0th row and i minus minus then on the columns like let's say column is start from in j is equals to 0 j less than i and j plus plus now dp of j is math dot min dp of j comma dp of j plus 1 plus the value at that row which is i dot get at that column j so once we done we just return dp of 0 that will have the minimum pass sum so let's compile this code bottom up approach code so it got compiled there is a answer is not correct let's just go again so oh, this is what is the mistake as every row will have i, I column so we have to run this loop i plus 1 until i plus 1 so let's compile it again and it got compiled let's submit this code so it got accepted so now the time complexity of this solution is again o of n square n is the number of rows and the space complexity is O of n and this is bottom of our solution. So if you like this solution hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.